Oh, hello, and welcome to another Today's Decay. Are you ready for an exciting, pulse-pounding continuation of yesterday's video? I am, because I kept watching films and I wound up breaking one. Snapped it in two. Separated its head from its body. So, I uh, thought I should fix it. So I'm gonna. And, um... This is how you do it. But meanwhile, we're celebrating births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. And on this day in 1837, uh, Spring Hill Jack was first sighted. Such an interesting story. One that we really don't know that much about or is kind of like uh, lost to history. It's like so much what if type stuff. Give me a second here. So, you know, he had glowing red eyes. And um, supposedly springs on his feet that allowed him to jump over, I think it was a cemetery wall, something like a nine foot tall fence. Later on, there has been multiple sightings of him throughout London and different parts of England, up north as well. Um, later on stories, and not even that much later, um, make him into this, like, demonic figure. Um, who knows what the truth is? I th I, I mean, it's such an interesting story. something I'd love to be a, get like obsessed over, but I also feel like that the facts are so hard to come by. Anyway, Spring Hill Jack, today, 1837. Oh, there's another one. Let's get, let's get the other side of this, shall we? Good thing I went to film school. Or maybe I wouldn't know how to do this. Uh, also, on this day, 1924, the, um, Manifesta de Surrealism. Nope, didn't say it right, did I? Surre I, I'm trying to learn French, and, uh, I'm failing on camera. De, de Manifest de Surrealism. De Surrealism. Is that how it's pronounced? Louis looks nonplussed. Nonplussed. Anyway, published in this day by Jan Gall, uh, 1924. Here's a really cool one. Uh, the series Nightmare with the Old Woman premiered in this day in 1957. She was uh, Los Angeles's follow-up to Vampira. I love this story. So all of her content most of Vampire's content, uh, television show content, is lost. All of the old woman's content is lost. 1957 means that she was part of the shock theater package, so she's introducing or hosting actual horror films rather than Vampira, who was 1954, where they didn't have the rights to show classic Universal Monster and similar horror films of the time, so they were doing like uh, old Dark House mysteries more than anything. There's another broken piece. Broken all over the place here. Let's do that one too. All right, so meanwhile, she, her, her gimmick, um, her, the actress's name was Atola Nesbitt, and you can find out, you can read her whole story in the book, um, Creatures of the Night That We Love So Well, written by Jim Fetters, which is excellent. Um, anyway, so what is my point here? The character, the old woman, lived in an attic, like her, her set was this attic, and she would say that she was like the mad, she was, whichever film, let's say she was showing uh, Frankenstein, 
she would say she was like the romantic lead from 31 film May Clark. But, you know, old and haggard and insane living in this cobweb shrouded attic. Uh, I mean, she, she wasn't. It was Atola Nesbitt or whatever. I'm pretty sure that was her name. Um, and May Clark from Frankenstein, who was probably, let's just say she was 20 when she filmed Frankenstein. I don't know. So she's going to be 45 at this point, not this, you know, uh, wrinkly 80 year old lady. She wound up taking her to court and suing her for, I'm not sure if it's defamation of character, something like that. And um, every show, every episode that the old woman hosted, um, she'd change who she was and like tell the story that she was, you know, Helen Chandler from Dracula or, or whatever. Um, anyway, so right, May Clark took her to court to sue her over it and, and somehow lost, saying this is like parody, even though it, it isn't really. You know, you're saying you're flat out you're May Clark. Uh, whatever. It sounds great. It's such an original concept. And uh, I think so many horror hosts fall into the archetypes of what we know and love and what works. And um, this ain't it. And uh, I dig it. Yeah, so that premiered on this day in Nightmare, the series. Premiered on this day, 1957. Uh, 1961, Ricky Lee Braun was born. A uh, fantastic rockabilly rock and roll drummer in the Stargazers, um, Space Cadets, whole lot more. I love Ricky Lee Braun. Uh, Johnson Family at one point. Excellent. Yep, yep, yep. And on this day, 1968, the film Night of the Living, Night of the Living Dead premiered, which is fitting, it being October 1st. And uh, 1993, the film Freaked premiered, which I, I love Freaked. Uh, I know the soundtrack just came out, a little posthumously, I suppose. Um, 27 years after the film came out. <laughs> but um, yeah, great stuff. So what are you going to do on October 1st? I, my, my vote is uh, either read up on Spring Hill Jack and or put on Night of the Living Dead. Because uh, it's that kind of night, isn't it? Until tomorrow. Goodbye.